It's Paris and welcome back to week six of Behind the Photo. This week's theme was Avatar Week um, and it was based off of the TV show Avatar The Last Airbender. The contestants each were randomly assigned an element of bending to do. So let's get into what the contestants came up with. So first photo we have is Blossom and she was a waterbender. This photo is so cool. All of the details are incredible. I mean the set, the outfit, her hair, even you changed her eye color, even like the little water droplets in the background. Like this is just incredible and the amount of detail that you put into this is absolutely crazy. The only thing I could find that threw me off a little bit was the water that she's bending, the water bubble. I noticed that in the show, the water when they're bending it is a little bit of a darker blue and yours is a little bit lighter and more clear. So I would have just darkened it to like a darker blue and that would have been perfect. I loved this picture, like absolutely love this picture. One thing I would say is the bubble looks a little fake. Otherwise, it's perfect. I love the set and I love her hair. I just love everything about your picture. I think you did amazing. The water and the set that you did look amazing. Really loved how you changed her eye color and her hairstyle to match guitar. Like, I don't know, just this was very, very well done. All right, Earthworm Sally was Firebender. So this is also a really creative idea, but I think you just didn't pull it off this week. It just looks kind of fake. Fire is definitely really fake. And also the ring thing, it's covering her face a little bit. And also I think what it would have, would have been cool to maybe draw your attention to the doll is to put the doll in, in the middle. So maybe make the ring of fire around her and she's in the center of it instead of kind of off to the side. But you really killed it with the outfit. Her outfit is like so like fire nation. It looks really cool. So good job on that. I did like the take you used with the circle and I like her outfit a lot and I also really like the sky it's really pretty and I like how your doll's still pretty bright even though I can tell that you took this late at night I really love her outfit and hairstyle like it's perfect I like how you have the where you have the fire and how you can see the light from the fire on her hand like details like that make it look so much more realistic there are parts that fall over her face so I think that part's a little bit distracting and there's also an area at the bottom where I can see the original grass that you had in the photo and it just looks a little bit confusing but overall I really really like what you did with this photo. All right Desert Girl was an airbender and this one again really cool concept but I think that you just didn't pull it off this week. Um, the doll in the air just kind of looks it kind of gets lost and I know air I think is probably the hardest one to do because you can't see it so I know that you tried to you know show that she's an airbender through her outfit and what they wear. I mean, her dress is okay. Airbenders don't really wear shoes, and so the boots that she's wearing just doesn't really go. The staff, I think, is a nice detail, but it looks more like a plank of wood or a piece of cardboard than a staff. The background also, it looks more like she's in a painting instead of the sky. Also, the arrow on her head, I think, should have been blue because in the show, it's blue instead of clear, and it's kind of hard to see unless you zoom in. I think you just really missed it with this week. Um, I, I love how bright your um, picture is. I was a little confused when I first saw your picture. I couldn't really tell what your theme was. I don't know, it was just a bit confusing to me. You couldn't really tell that she was in the air. You couldn't really tell that she was bending air. So I would say I was a little confused upon that part. I really liked how you painted the background, or at least it looks like you did, but I would have tried to um, hide where the seams of the board you were using since it's a little bit distracting and it makes it seem less like it's actually, you know, in the air. And then her position looking upwards looks a bit awkward. I think if she were positioned more vertically, it would have fixed this issue. I think the leaves and the wind effect are a bit too transparent and you can't really see it. 
it at first. All right, and lastly, we have Pumpkin, who was an earthbender. This is so cool. Her outfit is incredible. Probably my favorite part of the photo, like this outfit. Oh my gosh, I love it. Also, the rocks floating. Um, they look really good. Not too fake. I think that they're just a little bit blurred, a little bit too much. So I would just tone down the blurred, blur just a teensy bit because they are like a little bit too much um, and they kind of get lost in the background. I really liked how bright your picture is and the little attention to details and how she's like throwing the rocks. Everything looks really real. Just in general, I really like your picture. I don't think there's anything I would say to approve upon. I think the colors of her outfit represent the earthbenders perfectly. Um, I really like her pose, but um, I think to emphasize the power that earth uh, that earth has, I think it would have been nice if her hair was blowing slightly instead of just like lying straight flatly down. And then I also think the rocks are just a little bit small, like they kind of look like pebbles rather than something more impressive. But overall, you did an amazing job. All right, and that brings us to the end of this episode. As usual, the contestants absolutely killed it and made it insanely hard for us judges to decide who was top and who was bottom. So we had to bring in some extra judges on the side to help us choose. So we finally came to a conclusion for the elimination and who the top three that will be going to the final. And those top three are Blossom, congratulations, Pumpkin, congratulations, and Earthworm Sally. Those are the top three who are making it to the final next week, which sadly means we know who the elimination is, which is Desert Girl. It was so hard for us to decide who to eliminate, but we ended up on Desert Girl. We looked at how everybody did throughout the competition along with this week. We are so, so happy to have had you in the competition. We loved seeing your photos every week. Thank you for all the time and effort that you spent each week. So Desert Girl sent her own photo so she can tell you guys herself who she is. So let's see what she has to say. Hey everyone, Desert Girl here. And sadly, this week I was eliminated. And as sad as that is, there's some good news. You get to find out who I am. Hey everyone, I'm Rowan, AKA Dolls Eye View Photography, and this is my doll, Gabby. Thank you so much to Paris, Andrea, and Haley for this opportunity to be in this wonderful competition. I really didn't expect to make it this far, and everyone in this competition was just so amazing, and they did a great job. And I'm so excited to watch the finale next week. Thanks again for the opportunity and best of luck to the top three for next week. Bye. We're so happy to finally know who you are, Desert Girl. Thank you so much for participating and we'll see you soon. So that brings us to the very end of the episode where I announce the next theme for the final week of Behind the Photo. So the next theme is album cover. This theme I thought was a really cool idea where the contestants can either recreate an album cover that they like of their favorite artist or maybe think outside the box and come up with their own album cover and pretend as if their doll was a famous artist. Get creative with it you guys. I'm so excited to see what you three come up with and next week we will be announcing the winners of Behind the Photo. So see you guys soon. Bye!